everyone, it's Missy here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my October update for Pin Those Eyeshadows. This was a project created several years, several years ago by Alexi. Um, her information is down below, so you can go watch like her backlog of videos, but I don't believe she posts on YouTube any longer, which is a shame, but we wish her well. But I am following along with Lainey, and Lainey has created 100 prompts, and my goals are 25 uses or pan. So I have two pans. Two pans. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm only going to share with you. <laughs> I'm only going to share with you the two pans because literally I only use this shade once and this is the purple. I guess I can show you in the palette. That's this shade right here. It's called pour it up. And um, this was for a random color generator. Uh, I was working on one in this for my newest shadow. I was working, I'm working on Woodland, I should say. It is a, what am I doing? It's a matte. It's this matte. Right down here, which only has three uses on it. Uh, and then I had one in the margarita, uh, two in the margarita, and one in the dirty martini. So let us start with the one that's been in here the longest, and that's this. This was um, Mix It Up. Mix It Up? Yeah, Mix It Up by Glam Light. As of the last update, I'd only I brought this in and it already had uses, but I'd only used it in this product project two times. I've used it three more times for a total of five, and I hit that. So this is the shade right here. The um, look, the last look where my hair is back and I'm in that yellow shirt and I have that kind of turquoisey gold color, that was predominant in that look. And it's predominant in this look too on the outer corners and it's what I have lined my lower lash line with. I absolutely love the Glam Light Floor formula. Spoiler alert, I hit pan on, I like the four eyeshadows I used in this eye look today, I hit pan on all four of them. So that was fortuitous, <laughs> but anyway, I love this matte formula. It's really, really nice, but I only have one more shade left to go, and that's in 50 Shades of Green. So yeah, I, I enjoyed this palette. I really, really do, and I'm glad it's getting some love. So yeah, and grungy greens are perfect for this time of year. Next, I brought in my margarita palette. Both of the shades I brought in had usage, but I hit pan on the shade Presidente today, and I've used it three times. So again, it already had uses, beautiful color. It's what's on my inner corner today, like blended in a little bit. So yeah, you guys know this is my absolute favorite palette. This is my favorite palette of 2022, like seriously. Second, close second is Litless, but yeah, this is, this is really good. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I've only used Presidente, which is that gold color once. So yeah, so we have finished two. Which means we get to move to in, and I get to delete the prompt. Okay, so we did, remind you of spring, food theme re reference. That was um, the Presidente, because that is, yeah, yeah, because that is um, tequila. <laughs> I believe it's tequila, or it's the way you, it's the way you order a drink? I don't know, y'all. I don't, I haven't drank in 10 years. And the, the turquoise was a shadow that starts with M and that was mix it up. Okay, okay, okay. So that leaves me with 73 prompts. I, um, I had deleted all of the, um, uh, what's it called? Duplicates, because Lainey did have some duplicates, one that she thought would be really fun to pan, and I went ahead and diluted those until I could get um, get an opportunity to work through all of them. So we need two. So one, 47, 63, 47 is a shade that starts with N, the letter N. And then 63, again, my numbers are going to be different, is... A red shimmer. God damn it. <laughs> Luckily, it's a red shimmer and not a red matte. If it was a red matte, I would have vetoed that because I still have not finished the red matte or hit pan in the red matte in my lit list palette. That's in 101 Magical Pans or whatever it's called. Okay, so let me go find what we're doing and I will be right back. 
Y'all, I have literally, literally been looking 30 minutes for an end. We're gonna skip that one for now, cause I am over it. <laughs> Jeez, fat girl is way over it. So I will keep an eye out for that, so I can have something in mind for that prompt next time, but I, I just can't, I honestly just can't. So we're gonna roll one more number. 31. High in eyeshadow. Okay, I can do that. That was quick. <laughs> I, I was already wanting to pull this palette, but I didn't have an N. Does it have an N? No, it doesn't have an N. So that's an unfortunate. Okay, so the first prompt was a red shimmer. <laughs> So I am bringing in this. This is my Moonspell Volume 2 palette from Lunar Beauty. And I am bringing in Grams. This shade right here. I'm already painting my name, Misty, wherever I am, in Paranormal Pantivity. So I'm already dipping into this palette, which is not a burden. I was like, I don't have room for one more palette. This is pretty similar to a shade that I have in my Red Velvet Cupcake palette, but I've already hit pan on that one. So I don't mind bringing this one in. And again, I don't want to have to bring in another, <laughs> another palette. So my goal is 25 uses or to hit pan. And then the next shadow we are rolling in is for my Huda Rose Quartz palette. I am bringing in the shade Serenity, which is this kind of cool tone matte purple down here. Um, I think it's going to be beautiful with everything that I'm currently panning. There's a shade in the Red Velvet Cupcake that you think would be this color and it's just not. It's not anywhere near this color so definitely ready for for new. So those are the new newbies. We pan what's already in or swatch what's already in here. We have poured up from the wine palette. Those two, will, those two will kind of play together. We've got Woodland from the Lois Meet Me in the Underworld palette. And then we have Fresh Pineapple from the Margarita palette. There's the color story. So, yeah, hopefully I won't be doing these <laughs> to Christmas, but this will be a pretty little Christmas look. And these purples will pair beautifully with the five or six purples that I need to pan in my Beauty A to Z. So yeah, that's it. Lord have mercy on my soul. I didn't realize that was gonna take me so long. So I know I have Haley, Ruth, Lainey, if you're if you're doing this and I don't have you, please let me know so I can get you added. I don't think Lainey has done a done any kind of like spreadsheet spreadsheet. That's not the right word I'm looking for. Playlist, community playlist. I don't I don't really know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. But yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. This is one of the six eyeshadow projects that I'm currently doing and one of the six eyeshadow projects that will be following me into 2023. So if you're interested in watching me pan all these eyeshadows, be sure to join me. Um, and if you missed it, um, I posted all the pans I'd hit in the third quarter. I'm at 120 for the year. All pans. I think I'm at 120 or 90. I don't remember. Um, all the eyeshadows that I'm currently painting, um, my quarter three check-in, etc. So we are hitting quarter four running. Hopefully my health is calm the F down and I can get back to wearing makeup and just enjoying having some me time. But that's it. So subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at Misty Pans. Check out everybody else that is doing paint those eyeshadows. Everybody. 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 <laughs> Everybody doing it. You can find the hashtag. Just click on the hashtag and you have hours upon hours upon hours of binging um, entertainment. All right, guys. Love your faces and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.